Hey, we go back again with another video. So yes, since my last video on Jack Clark, lots of things have happened. Lots of rumours, lots of speculation, lots of noise coming out of the club, coming out of certain certain sizes and sizes, sources, including my very own. Yes, including my very own. So got some information on all the players that are being kicking about at this moment in time to do with Sunderland. We'll start off with what everybody wants to know about is Bradley Dack. So yes, Bradley Dack has been up to Sunderland today and had his medical being seen kicking about at the stadium of light and has had his medical yes now the medical went well went well one or two niggles to do with the bottom end of his legs to do with his calves and this that and the other but in general the medical went really well so hopefully bradley dak will be signing very soon yes now what do we know about this this man bradley dak he's a midfielder 29 years of age, born in December, well, December the 31st, almost January, five foot nine inches tall, played, started his career off basically in Gillingham, 160 games, 31 goals, couple of loan spells, but then went to Blackburn, Blackburn, 158 goals in, 58, no, 158 appearances, was a sick 50 goals, of course, yes, with 50 goals, but he scored 46 goals in 114 appearances, so that's, that's a pretty good record. God, he's a, he's a, an attacking midfielder. He likes to adopt a free role behind the strikers and, you know, he, like, he likes to sort of play his football, you know, sort of looks up, look at the Frank Lampard style of football. That's what he likes to model himself, the Frank Lampard style of football. So Bradley Dack. But injuries, injuries, injuries has plagued his last couple of seasons. Now, in the 1920s, 1920, 2019 to 2020 season, he had a cruciate, cruciate ligament injury and it was out for 375 days, missing 49 games of football. That is a hell of a long time to be out. And then again, 2021, exactly the same injury. It was out for 40 more games, so almost two seasons. Almost two seasons, out for another 314 days. So they are massive injuries to take into consideration on Bradley Dack. Now he's been for his medical, the medical went well, and apparently, you know, he's passed his medical, according to the sources out there. So that looks good. Now, I don't know what about the situation to do with the money and all that, but it looks like Bradley Dack will be one of the signings coming in. Along with Eliza Mendea, yes, Mendea, the one I did put on my channel a couple of weeks ago or last week to do, saying that he was he was rumoured to, to wait, well, my source did say he was the deal's done, basically the deal's done, but then I think the French club wanted a, a little bit more, squeeze a little bit more out of Sunderland. But now the deal is done, both clubs have come to agreement, and he should be announced if not tonight, tomorrow. So that's Eliza Mendea, 18 year old for South Shea, so Shea, we're well, not so Shea now, Sunderland. Will he go straight into the first team? Personally, I don't think he's ready for the championship. You know, a young kid, 18 years of old, not much experience, 15 games, you know, for associates. I, I think, personally, I think he'll probably go straight in to the under-23s. That's just my opinion. And he may be somebody for the, maybe the mid-season, back end of, end of this season. I know he may be, he may be, he may be built like a brick shit house, maybe fine, may come straight in. I don't know. I'm just thinking of personal, of seeing, like, looking at his, his stats and everything, I'm just thinking, I can't see him being in front of Hermia Semedo anyway, full stop. So I don't think he'll probably start any games in the, in, in upcoming, like, at all, to be honest, in, in the season. For me, I think it'd be more like this here, the back end of the season when he gets himself sorted out. Now, there was also rooms to do with Tom Cannon. Tom Cannon is probably not going to happen. And, you know, Jack Clark... You know, the, the dogs are barking out there and there's, there's, lots of, there's lots of more positivity coming out of, the, out of the camp about Jack Clark. A lot more positivity coming out that there's more chance of him now possibly staying than actually going. You know, very close with Tony Mowbray. My source says a lot of people he spoke to uh, the, the, who spoke to Jack Clark and things are actually, you know, more positive. So touch wood, he does actually stay. That would be absolutely fantastic. Now, of course, Ross Stewart as well. Ross Stewart. Everyone, man, and his dog sick of talking about Ross Stewart. But information I get, I will pass on. The club have offered Ross Stewart a contract. It's not very good. It's not a very good contract. And Ross Stewart thinks he can get better elsewhere. And I think he, he wants to stay. Basically, you know, basically, Ross Stewart wants to stay. But the club, you know, 
allegedly, but uh, looking, looking, looking about it, the club wants him to go. The club wants to sell Ross Stewart. That's their ideal scenario for, for the owners of Sunderland is that Ross Stewart moves on to another club. That's the ideal scenario. So that's why they haven't offered him a fantastic contract. So it's watch this space. He's probably, you know, out of all the players, he'll probably go and get a better contract somewhere else. Unless this injury is going to ruin his career. And he's out at the back end of October now as well. So that doesn't look good. So that's all the roundup at this moment in time. Pritchard, 50-50. You know, uh, personally, he might stay. But if a club comes in for him now, now they know that maybe it's Bradley Dack's coming to Sunderland. That damn injury is really worrying me about Bradley Dack. You know, two seasons out, same injury. There's no guarantee. There's no guarantee anything, is it? There's only, you know, death and taxes. There's only guarantees in life. But there's no guarantees. I mean, apart from like, yeah, uh, what's not getting promoted to the Premier League next season? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It's not a guarantee. But I don't really feel that confident at this moment in time. We really need a good strike to be brought in. And maybe he's another fullback. And the keeper situation will be sort of sorted out in the next week or so. So there we go. That's the information. Let me know. What's your thoughts on Bradley Dack? What's your thoughts on Bradley Dak? Who would you want to start? Pritchard or Dak? Personally, me, I prefer Pritchard than Dak. Dak could be one that, you know, takes a bit of time, gets himself fit, does a bit of sort of substitutes, and, and we'll see how it goes with Bradley Dak. But there we go. Experience, yes. We need to keep Danny Bart as well. I really want to make sure we can really... That for me... We've got to keep all of these players at this club. I would be happy to keep every single player at this club. Skip them all here. We need them. We need them. It's going to be a tough long season ahead. Good teams in this. In this. In this. it's a tougher, tougher, tougher league than last season. We're missing a mad. I'd love to see a mad come back and or another another good striker. So there we go. That's all the information I have. I is happy at this moment in time. How many more players do you want in? How many more? Bradley Dak, past his medical. It's all down to the, the, the fine, the finer details of things and what goes on, whether they're signed. It's looking positive, though. It's looking positive, like 80% he's going to sign. Day will probably be done in the next day or so. But that young lad should be announced on, on the website very shortly. Thank you for watching the video. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And also on my other channel, Mad's Out and About, I was over at Whitfield. Whit Whitfield? Whitfield, Whitburn, doing videos on the most expensive houses in Sunderland. If you like looking about places like Whitburn, you know, Roker and all them, pop on the Mads Out and About. I'll leave a link down below in the description and give us a subscribe to that one as well. So there we go. Thank you for watching. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. There, all the information's out there. And we'll, we'll see you probably later on tonight if something's announced or tomorrow. Either way. Thank you. Take care.